Broadcasting from Silicon Valley, California, this is Conversations with Jenny Lynn. Wherever you are in the world, greetings to you and thank you for watching Conversations with Jenny Lynn. Today, I have a very beautiful French woman to share with you. She is in France and she is an intuitive and I cannot wait to get the show on the road. Her name is Dominique Merlin. And I'm so happy to spend time with her and share her with you. Welcome to Conversations with Jenny Lynn Merlin. Thank you for having me. So Dominique, you came highly recommended by a friend of mine who had a psychic reading with you. And she called me up and she goes, Jenny, this woman knocked my socks off. You have to invite her to your show because she is the real deal. And this is someone I know who has had many psychic readings. She really believes in them. And so for her to recommend you, I am very happy that you had the time to spend with us today. So let's talk about your gift. At what age did you realize you had this gift? You know, Jenny, Jenny Lynn, that is a very good question because I, I thought you were going to ask me that today. And I was like, okay, in order to answer the question, I have to start from now and go to the beginning of my life. So today I'm 64 years old and I've been able to, to read past life uh, everywhere I'm going. When I meet people, it can be a bank employee, it can be a friend, a boyfriend. I see their past life. But um, everything became like really, really real to me when I moved in America in 1992. But be before that, I was in France. I was already psychic. But, and I remember when I was a little girl, I had dreams. And they were really traumatizing dream. But I was a little girl. I didn't know. And later on, as an adult, I realized that it was uh, past life memories. But then I, 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 I noticed that I could remember when I was in my mother's womb. So I had, uh, I could hear the noise, like I could hear bam, bam, bam. And I asked my father, I said, what were you doing during the summer? Because I'm born at the end of September. He said, oh, it was summertime. I was painting the, the apartment. I was remodeling. And then because it was summertime, my mother was drinking a lot of juice. So I, I could feel that she was very happy. And then I felt that she likes another man. So I can say that I was already a psychic in the womb. Are you kidding me? Stop, it has no stop. stop. It has. In the womb, you found out that your mother liked another man. Oh, that you found I knew. Out. I knew she liked another man. I knew. I was like, I, and I was in the womb. Like I told you, I could feel that she was happy. She was having fruit juice. She was like feeling really good. And I knew she, she liked another man. But my father was a military, so he was going away a lot from home. And I think my mother, just like a guy, I don't think she was in love or anything, but, but I was in the womb and I, and I knew my mother likes another man. So this, is, this has been all my life. So when I was a little girl, like I told you, like really little girl, around six, I had dreams. Um, and later on, I connected to the, to the real past life and I could understand the dream. So I had dreamed and then I start seeing aura, and then I could see, uh, I had flash of the future. And my friend would tell me, oh, you're very intuitive, Dominique, because at that time I didn't know I was psychic, you know? And remember at that time, 50 years ago, 55 years ago, we, 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 we didn't have television, we didn't have talk show, we didn't have books about that. So I did, we didn't have the vocabulary. So people would say, Dominique, you're very intuitive. And then I start uh, giving reading to people for fun. Uh, so I would be in a din at dinner table and I would be, oh, you in a past life, you were doing this and this, you were doing this. And everybody loved, you know. And one day a guy told me, he said, uh, how did I die in that past life? And I said, oh, I see that somebody put an arrow here in, 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 in your back. And he said, oh my God, I always have a pain there. And then little by little, I start realizing I was like, uh, it, it looked like um, it's a little bit more, but still I was, I think I was still in denial. I didn't realize the gift. So uh, one day I meet a guy, a Frenchman, and I, and I date him and I, I tell him a past life. And I say, oh, in a past life, you, you're talking to a woman and you're telling that woman, I'm going to leave you. And that woman is very unhappy. 
But at the same time, I had flashes, you know, of me in a past life, very miserable. And then when he told me that, I thought about it. And then I was like, oh, I know that woman I see in, the, in my vision and, and the woman to whom he's talking, it's me. So he was my boyfriend in this life, but already in a past life, he left me. So I, at that moment, I realized that I could see my own past life. I could see my own past life. And from that moment, I could see everybody else's past life. I could see my past life. I understood the, the, the dreams. The nightmares that I had as a little girl, I understood that it was a connection of past life. And, I've, and since then, I've been reading uh, past life. So what I do is that when I start to reading, I, I get all the dead people that come around you. So I start telling you, your grandfather is here, your grandmother, a dog, your cat. And then I connect to the present moment, your present issues. And I tell you, Jenny Lynn, uh, I can see your house. I can see uh, um, uh, there is people around you. I can see you have a husband, children. You know, I read all of that. And then I connect to your the significant issue. And I'm like, oh, I know your problem in this life. And always I read a past life and it's always connected. So my point is that the issues that you're facing in this life are always connected to a past life. Is that oh. what they call karma? Yeah, th then you can you can find out the karma. You can, for example, uh, a few days ago, I had a Frenchman call me and he said, uh, I don't understand my, my wife, she can't get pregnant. And they had everything that worked well. The relationship go works very well. They have money, they travel, they are young, they are beautiful. And he told me my, my, she cannot get pregnant. So I go right away in the past life. And I see that in the past life, she ended up as a widow. And she had four children and one of them was sick. And I told him, I said, she's afraid that if she has a child, that you're gonna leave her. Either you die, she become a widow again, or you get divorced. But the fear was holding her from becoming pregnant in this life. So yeah, you can call that karma. Yeah, you, we have karma for sure. But, but we are always connected to a past life and we are connected to fears, issues, and of course, if you did bad stuff in the past life, then you're going to have to redeem your soul in this life. Are you reading mine now? Can you see mine? No, you, you, when you called me, you contacted me. I got your past life and I was like, oh, I can see her past life. I didn't take notes. And usually when I get a, a past life, I, I record always because I, it's not the same kind of memory. Like you tell me your name, I remember it. But when I, I receive information from from my I guess it's the Akashic records, I cannot remember. But what I remember is that you were a man. And what I remember and is that you were like always, always like thinking, you were a lot in your head. You were trying to find out, to understand, um, almost like understand the mysteries of life. So you were a lot in your head. And in this slide, you said, I'm gonna come back. I want to get the answers, but this time I want to experience, I want to make the experience myself in order to get the, the answers by myself. Because remember in that past life, you were only in your head. You know, you can, you can be thinking like that till the end of time. Sometimes you need to have the experience and the experience give you the answer. So in your case, the, the, the job that you're doing now is because you're, you're looking for answers that you didn't have in that past life. And you said, I'm gonna come back in this present life, but this, this time I'm gonna have a tools. And you know who you remind me? No. I knew of Oprah. Oprah? Because, yeah, Oprah, because I was looking at Oprah on television and, and I, I, I connected to her past life because like I told you, I see past life everywhere. And Oprah was in a, she was like in a small city, a small country in Africa. And um, she was a kind of a kind of a king, you know of that small community. And people would come and say, oh, uh, my wife is sick, or my child uh, doesn't talk, or um, uh, the harvest is not good. And she was very limited, you know, she could not do that much to help the people because she, she had limited tools. So she tried to help, she was like already a very good, she was kind of a king, you know, she was in Africa. She was trying to help the people, but she didn't have the tool. So in this life, she said, I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna do the same job that I did in a past life, but this time I will have tools in order to help people. So she used the media like you, you're using Zoom, you're using the media. And we see a lot of people who wanted to help in a past life were very limited and come back in this century because in, 
you know, it's the Aquarian, Aquarius time. And we have a lot of tools. We have computer, we have Zoom, we have a television, we have, I have internet. So a, a lot of people who wanted to help very badly in past life and were limited are back again. And then they can help because they have tools. And you are one of them You're using this media in order for you to get a lot of information. And on top of it, you're helping the community, which is double whammy because you're fulfilling your needs and you're, you're helping the community. And people who can do their job plus help the community are very welcome on this planet. <laughs> Thank you. It's so funny that you said that because from a little girl, I was always curious about people. And I always wanted to know if, well, you know, if they had any struggles because it's always my desire to help people. And, I, and I've attracted a lot of jealous, horrible people that are trying to stop me from helping people. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, you, you know what I hear when you told me that, what I heard from my spirit guy is talking to me from that side. Yes. You know, he said, she's not allowing herself. You are not allowing yourself. That's what he just told me when you were saying that, you know. I'm said, not allowing myself. To, you're not allowing yourself in this present life to really uh, accept that 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 uh, tool that is the media, and you you're not allowing yourself to really receive everything that you need to know. You need to allow yourself. You he's telling me that he's saying she's blocking. You are blocking. You need to allow yourself. You need to to give yourself the right. Maybe in the past life you. You know, in that past life, you were like in your head. Maybe you were limiting yourself in the past life. You were not allowing yourself to know more than you would be like all day long. Oh, I'd like to know, I'd like to know. You were limiting yourself. But what is happening is that you don't realize you're coming back in this life with that same limiting belief that you had in the past life. Because in the past life, you could have said, okay, I, I, don't, I don't get that answer. I'm going to go out and get and, and, and find uh, and get that answer. You were no, not doing that in that past life, you were passive. And in this present life, you come back, but you don't realize that you are still passive. So right now you're talking with me, you're very active, but you have moments when you're still connected to that past life when you are passive. And that passivity in this life make you not allowing to receive. I guarantee you that's what it is for you. You need to allow yourself to fully receive and you need to allow yourself to have no limitation about being able to receive even one day, Maybe you're going to interview Vanity. I don't know, but you need to have a very, very open mind. You know, when I started that career, I was a little bit like you. I was like, uh, the first time I did a, a psychic reading, believe me, I was afraid. I was like, no, I can't do that. This is impossible. And the, and the, the person came in my home and said, I want to have a reading now, Dominique. Here is the money. I had to do it. Then I, I, I was forced to allow myself. And, and, and your spirit guy is saying that to you. He, he, he's saying, allow yourself to fully receive and get all the information that you need in this present life because this life is about that for you. You want to get answers. Wow. <laughs> it's very true. It's very true that I limit myself because I just don't feel I deserve anything. I like to give. I have a difficult time receiving. Oh. So Dominique, so, yeah. I know that you must have helped thousands of people. What do you want to say to people that think this is all nonsense or that past lives is craziness, that, that you die and that's the end of you? First of all, I cannot say that past lives are craziness because like I told you, I've been reconnecting to past life, my own and all my, my um, clients. Uh, in my mind, there is no doubt. And actually I, I like reading past life and you know why? Because you understand why you're going through what you're going. So when people tell me I don't believe in past life, I, I tell them, it's like you tell me I'm in the middle of the desert. Oh, Dominique, I don't need to know where I'm coming from and I don't need to know where I'm going. And I'm like, well, are you kidding me? You're in the middle of the desert. There is no sign anywhere. Of course, you need to know where you're coming in order for you to know in which direction you have to go. And to me, this is exactly that. You are in the middle of the desert and by knowing what happened to you in the past life, you understand where you need to go. And to go back to that example of that lady who could not have children, now she knows her fears. She knows the fears are about afraid to be to become a widow or get divorced or that her husband 
find another woman. Now she knows, and she and it helped her move towards the, the right the right direction because now she knows that she has to to look for somebody who's going to help her release um, fears. So uh, connecting to a past life always always help you understand where you're coming from, why you are here, where you are and where you need to go. It's like the, the, the missing piece is in a past life. And remember, we have tons of, of past life, but usually I connect to the ones that is significant to this present life. Like, like you, you had a lot of past life, but the one I saw has something to do with your current issues. I see, okay. And so yeah. what, why do you think we come into life not being fully aware of, what we really what we've really come for because almost every person who is intuitive that i've spoken with have told me that we come back to this life to finish a lesson we didn't learn in the previous why is it when we get here we forget why? Because I, I don't forget. So I'm like, how come I'm different? Why I do remember and people don't remember? But then I make, I start making a difference, looking at people the way they are and the way I am. And honestly, I can tell you, I'm a very, very empath person. And I believe that uh, when you are empath, you, you connect to people on the emotional level. And then you understand their need and, and then you can help them. So I think that a lot of people miss empathy, empathy, they miss consciousness. Most of the people I meet don't understand the meaning of life. So they are missing the point because they don't even understand the missing of, meaning of life. If you, if you don't even believe in past life, how can you understand what's going on in your own life? That poor lady, she does not understand why she can't get pregnant. Everybody, so many women can get pregnant. But, but it's a fear. It's a fear coming from a past life. Knowing your past life always, it's always a tool that helps you. Okay, and so some of the people we meet, because I've met someone in this life, and I know for a fact that he and I were together in another life, because in the moment I met him, I started getting flashes of times with him, and I'd never met him before. And this is someone that's been very difficult to dis disengage from. Do you believe that we encounter some people from the past lives because they're a part of Fulfilling the Jeannie, it, it, I, I go to the gym and I, 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 I went to the gym, you know, and there were a girl, I started becoming friends with her and we were doing exercise together. I saw that we were already together in a past life. That's why we connected so well at the gym and I only became friends really with her. I was with her in a past life. Then if I go to the bank, you know, and I go to the bank all the time, then I talk to the same employee and I, I really easily get make contact with people. I guarantee you after a while, I'm like, oh, I know this one, I met her already, or I met him in the past life. It's always, it's, every time you have like a close relationship with people, I'm not talking about husband, family member, children, um, extended family. I'm talking even the going to, to the same baker every day. Then if you end up like really connecting, kind of becoming friend, obviously you met them in, in, in the past life. It, it, that's why I see so many past lives of mine, because most of the time when I meet people, I know I met them in a the past life. It's, it's, so you, you, the, the most important people in your life, your, all the family members, uh, extended family, husband, wives, all of that, you, you knew them in a the past life, always, always. It's always, uh, we meet each other again. But then why do we meet each other again? Sometimes you meet friends and they are friends and they are here to, to help you in, in time of need, they, they, to, to give you assistance. So that's friend. And then you have the people with whom you have a karma. Like when I met that guy and I saw me in his past life, it's because he dumped me in the past life. He left me and I was hurt. Oh. I didn't forget. Then I see him again in this life, then we date again. But in this time, I have in this life, I have to say, okay, I understand you don't want to stay with me. I'm gonna leave you. And then when you understand the meaning of life, you, you don't try to keep people at all costs. You're like, okay, it's time to say goodbye. You understand that you, you just met the person in order to reconnect, to go through the same issues allow the person to leave you and forgive and then move on to something else. If you do that, then in your next life, you're going to be able to be 
together for good because you released the hurt in this life. So to summarize, everybody that you meet in this life with whom you have a problem, you better solve the problems that you have with them because that's why you met them, first of all. That's what, that's what you need to do in this life. You need to solve the issues, especially if there is emotion. And, and then you free yourself and in your next life, and always remember you're gonna have a next life, you're gonna be able to be together and happy. Wow, this is all very um, overwhelming, but it makes a lot of sense. That's exactly what it is. That's exactly what it is. It gives more sense to the meaning of life. I'm going to give you an example. A few days ago, I'm watching television, and there is a, a couple. He was cheating on her. So one night, she decided to kill him and to kill herself. So she poisoned him, and then she poisoned herself. So both of them die. And she leave a message saying, I hate you. I will never forgive you. You, you cheat on me. You brought the prostitute at home. How did you do that? I hate you. And she, so now she committed murder, and she committed suicide. If she had known the meaning of life, she would have understood that that situation was already going on in a past life. And in this life, what she had to do is, okay, Rene, we don't get along in, anymore together. Let's get divorced. We are still very good friends. We have children together. And then in your next life, the, the slate is clean. You, so you start from zero. But because that woman doesn't know about the law of karma and reincarnation in the next life, she made a big mistake. And I was watching the television and I was like, I wish I could have talked to her. I would have given her a reading. I would have said, Oh, you, I can see in the past life, your husband was cheating on you, but you know, in this life, you're gonna need, need to change the way you perceive the situation. You're gonna have to, to understand it. You're gonna have to release the, 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 the non-forgiveness. You know, I would have helped her work on it, but she, she, she didn't have tools. And she thought that the best thing to do was to kill both of them. And you see that on television, so many times. I see people killing people. Like, for example, let's say somebody steals a lot of money from you. Are you going to go and kill the person? You know what you do? You want me to give you the secret? You say, please, my spirit guy, that person stole money from me. I would like you to do something about it. And I would like to make sure that I find my money again. Your spirit guy is going to help you solve the situation instead of you going and kill the person because you're, you're upset, he's gonna help you solve the situation. And then you're gonna, you're gonna find the right tool. And then the money will come back, this life in the next life, but the money will be returned to you. But if you kill the person because the person stole money from you, then you have karma in your next life. And you see cycle of karma coming back, coming back, coming back all the time. People don't understand the spiritual laws. Well, a lot of people, first of all, <clears throat> don't understand that they've had past lives. A lot of people believe you die and that's the end of you. So for them to even grasp the concept of karma, I, I had a friend who told me I don't believe in karma and I just smiled. I've come to a place in my life where I'm not here to force people to believe anything. I think things resonate with people at the time that it should. And some people never evolve spiritually. And so they just go through this life like a blank slate in terms of why they're really here. And I recognize that, but it's not my place to change that for anyone. Now, there are people in this world that use the dark forces to hurt people. People did it to me. Does that mean I did something to them in another life? Um, it, it could be possible. It could be possible that uh, you're receiving back what you did. That could be, um, uh, that could really happen. But um, uh, in, this, in this present life, uh, if, I think if I was giving you a reading, I, I would see why this is going on, why this is going on. But because it's a big issue for you, I'm pretty sure it's connected to a past life. And, and, and now, let's say, okay, let's say you, 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 you were a bad person. Let's say you were a bad person in this present life. In this life, you're redeeming your soul because you're helping a lot of people. So even if you knew, if somebody tell you, oh, you know, you were, uh, uh, you were doing black mag magic in the past life, let's say. In this life, you know that you're helping a lot of people. So you're balancing. Nice. And the people you're gonna be helping and, and doing the shows that you are doing, the more you're gonna be balancing. And at the end of, the, of your life, all the positive 
actions that you made are going to delete the negative actions that you made. So this live for you is probably a, a live of balancing, balancing. So finding a way to empower yourself. Remember you, you had a lot of questions, you wanted to know more. And at the same time in, in this live, you're doing two things to you, you. You're having probably two karma. And another one where you are using that tool in order for you to redeem your soul. So like I said, you're balancing every bad deed is balanced by a good deed. And at the, at the end, you're, you're balanced. So in your next slide, you will be, you, you, the past life will be deleted. You, you won't be, it will be there always, but you won't be connected to it. So what I'm advising you is that when you, you, you do that job that you're doing, really, be aware that you are doing that for good to help people to raise consciousness and right now on this planet we need to raise our consciousness well this is like the priority right now what you're doing what i'm doing we are raising consciousness you so you see you did something bad you're doing something very good end of the day everything is balanced so don't worry about it please don't worry about it okay because um <clears throat> I somebody called me a trailblazer because I interview people like you and for a large percentage of people they think this is craziness the psychics the mediums but I don't care what people think of me as long as I'm not doing anything wrong I am that's okay people are going to judge especially when you're in the public eye people judge you but this is something Dominique that I hear all the time people think that people who do what you do are just ripping people off and taking their money and telling them nonsense. Maybe there is, you know, you have dishonest people everywhere. But the, the way I work, I work, I really work for the, the, the light, obviously. But every time I give reading, uh, I, I lift, I can feel that I, I lift people's spirit. They, they, they are never depressed after a reading. They always feel very good because they have connected in their head and they have understood a lot of things. So I would say to the people who tell you that, you should say, well, there are some psychic when they do their work, they make people feel very good. They, they, they help solve a lot of problems. And, um, and, and it's a gift from God. I mean, I, I, first of all, I was born like that, like I told you. So how can you blame me for something that, <laughs> that way? Exactly. And, um, and I was already doing that in a past life, by the way, I was already doing that kind of a work in at least one past life. But when they say that, it's, it's, it's you know what, my, my spirit guy is talking to me and he said, they say that because they have peers. And that's what I wanted to talk to you uh, about today. I wanted to tell you that a lot of people have peers that they, they bring back from their past life, like that woman afraid not to have a child, and they bring back the fears from the past life. And then in this life, they sometimes they project that fear on somebody else. But in reality, the people who are telling you that are afraid of the unknown. They have fears of the unknown. They believe everything they see and they touch. That's what they believe. And they have fears of the unknown. And people like me are here to say, Okay, there is more than only what, what you can see with your eyes. There is much more on this planet. You have spirit guy, you have angel, you have the dead, you have souls. You know, by the way, talking about lost souls, I want to tell you that you, you sent me um, a link of the, of the, of the shows that the interview you, you did just before. So I'm looking at it. So I'm lying on my bed. I'm, I'm looking at you interviewing the woman. And suddenly you see what I, you know what I see? Be behind the screen, a lot of souls, lost souls listening to you. And that woman, like right now, they are listening to you and me because there are a lot of souls. On oh, the they too. need knowledge, they need spiritual knowledge because they didn't know and they died and they could not go to the light. And there are, there are so many lost, lost souls. So when you were interviewing that woman, I was like, I need to tell Janeline that a lot of lost souls were around you. You are helping people in this dimension you are helping the living, but you are helping the dead. You are, you are helping also people who could never go to the light. And the people who don't believe in that today are the people that are going to be lost souls. And then you and me, we need to do a job for those people. Because every time I give a reading, I have a lot of souls listening to what I say. If there is a, a conference from... A, 
medium or a very spiritual person, if I go to the conference, I see the, the lost souls everywhere. They are like everywhere. And sometimes you see only the, the top of the, their body above the ground level. Only the top of their body is the ground. And, and all the people who don't want to believe in anything, this is, this is working against them because when they're going to die, how can they go to the light? Because they don't even believe to the, of the light. They don't even believe in psychics. They don't believe in angels. They don't believe in, in, in spiritual guides. They don't believe in God. How can they go to the light? They're stuck on the other side. I have a dear friend. Your work, your work is very important. Your work is very important. And now, like I told you, you're balancing the karma. You are really balancing your karma. You are helping the living and the dead. Thank you. Yes, you are. I have a dear friend who died and I, I have many, many people I love who died, but there's one woman, she had a huge impact on my life. She helped me to grow spiritually and I've really felt the loss. I told her to come into this reading today and send me a message. You know, I want to tell you that there is a woman, um, I, I could see her above you on, on your left, but, um, we were talking about something else, so I could not interrupt you, but I felt her around you. But you see, this woman was a friend. And, and one day my spirit guide told me, he said, friends are here only to help you in this life. And you meet them from life to life to life. But friends are here only to help you. And you always meet somebody who's going to help you always. You're never, never alone on this planet. There is always somebody who's going to help you. And then you met them in past life, you're going to help them. And they're going to help you in your next life or maybe you will be helping them, but friends help each other. And, and that's a gift from God to make our journey better. So th she was one of them. She was one of them. I know of two women who are always around me. One of, one of them was my high school friend who died very young. And this other person used to bring her through to me, but now she's also gone. Since then, I haven't had anyone to talk but, you to. Know, she's, She's, she's giving you a lot of comfort from the other side. She's giving you a lot of comfort. And you don't realize she's still helping you. Probably she's telling you, uh, why don't you interview such and such? Uh, she's, she's, she's giving you advice. But, but it's really, really spirit guides that help us. The, the, the dead, they, they, they are around us. They are nice. But the real help comes from the spirit guide. But no. she's around you. She's still around you. How do I identify? How do I get to know and hear from my spirit guides? Okay, that's a very good question. And uh, usually I laugh when people ask me that question because I tell them, you know why you don't hear from your spirit guide? Because you never talk to him. So the first thing to do is to, to talk to him. So you call him and the, be the best thing is to say, spirit guide, I would like you to help me. Don't, don't try to, to give him a name because he's a spirit guy, he's a very special person. So you call him spirit guy, my spirit guy. So it's going to be yours, your spirit guy, my spirit guy. I call my spirit guy and I tell him, you can ask anything. Okay, I would like to buy a new pair of shoes. You think I should do that? Then I don't get an answer. So three days later, I go to the store and I see exactly the shoes that I want to buy. So I go inside the store and I say to the lady, I would like to, to have the shoes my size. And she tell me, mom, we don't have your size anymore. Then I got the answer from the spirit guy that I was not supposed to buy the shoes. And this is really happened to me. But what I'm telling you is that you can ask anything. I would like to buy a new car. Can you please help me? I would like to, 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 to meet somebody. I would like to visit a country. Do you think it's a good idea? First, you start talking to him and ask a lot of things, and then you're going to learn to receive the answer. You're going to learn to recognize when you're receiving an answer. Like, for example, you go in a store to buy shoes. You don't have your size anymore. You think it's, it's that's it. There is, I don't have my size. But in reality, your spirit guy was, send, was giving you the answer. No, you don't need to buy the shoes. So every time you see that the door is closed in front of you, it's because your spirit guy is answering, even if you did, didn't ask him. But if you're going you're gonna to start asking him, ask questions, anything. Am I going, do you want me to cook pasta or French fries tonight? And then you go grocery shopping, and suddenly you see the potatoes, and you're like, oh, they look good. I'm going to buy potatoes. And then 
you have your answer, you're doing French fries, you see, you, you have the answers. But my point is for you to understand that your spirit guide is always around you, day and night, day and night. Is. And everyone has a spirit guide? Absolutely, yes. Wow. People, people will do bad things. I was going to ask you that. You took it out of my mouth. You know they do bad things because they don't, they don't want to listen to their spiritual guides. They don't want to listen. You know, I think sometimes I think about Pablo Escobar because one day I said to my spirit guy, I said, are you kidding me? That guy bought uh, uh, drugs all over the planet. Millions of people became drug addict with all the consequences. I was like, but for, I mean, where was his spirit guy? And he told me, well, he didn't want to listen to us. And he chose his free will. And the free will is, if I want to do bad, I'm going to do it. That's my free will. That's what the free will is about, by the way. The free will is about, if I want to do something bad, I'm going to do it. You have the free will to do something bad. He chooses to do something bad. But when he is going to go on the other side, he's going to realize what he did that was very bad. Either he's going to do the same thing again in his next life, or he's going to do something that is totally opposite. He's going to be involved in a field where he can help a lot of people. It's one way or another. Wow. That's so amazing. And I don't, I think that the, more people are becoming aware uh, that they have a spirit guide, that there's a spiritual existence in parallel to this physical one. Now, Dominique, you've lived in the United States. You've lived in Los Angeles for a long time. For 25 years. Oh my gosh, that's why your English is so great. You speak yes, English yes. perfectly. So I know when we first talked, you were concerned about your English. I'm like, what is she talking about? Her English is perfect. But what I want to ask you is, when we reincarnate, how do we connect with people? Do we reincarnate back into the same city or country where we live? Because how do you connect with people from past lives? OK, that, that I'm going to tell you. For example, I was born French, so I, I live in France. and. And then at the age of 36, I moved to America. So when I, when, I, when I ended up in America, I met in America all the people I had met in certain past lives. And then I moved back to France and I meet new people who I met in other past lives. In my family, I have uh, six brothers and sisters. They didn't go to America. So they, they are not connected to a, a group of souls that I am connected to, but they are connected to other group of souls. What I'm trying to tell you is in one past life, you can be meeting people from 50 past lives. Little by wow. little. Wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So this is really wonderful. And then you, you, the, you, know the, you know the funny story is that when I was in America, I could get the green card and then I became a citizen. And it happened very easily, and a lot of people want to have the green card, and they and they they can't have it. And it happened so fast for me. And my spirit guy said, "But Dominique, in the past life, you you were in the civil war. You fought for that country. So you 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 were allowed to 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 get the citizenship because it's like a wish granted. You you already fought for that country in the past life. I was in the civil war." And I met some people that was in the civil war, civil war with me. You know that we have to do this again, right? <laughs> Our time is almost up. But I want to bring awareness to people of our spiritual life that is in existence with this one. Because I think when we balance them, we have a much more fulfilling life. It's not a poo-poo thing. You don't poo-poo it and say it doesn't, it's not real. Just because it's uncomfortable. And I think it's uncomfortable because there are a lot of dark practitioners in that spiritual world that have done a lot of things to hurt people. And so people just associate it with bad. So when there's someone like you working for the light, trying to bring awareness and to help people, you are damaged now because one bad apple spoils the whole bunch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I do recognize, because I, like you, I don't have your gift, but I have something. I don't know what it is. It started in dreams as a child and me dreaming things, telling my parents, and by the end of the day, whatever I dreamt would happen. 
And as I've gotten older, I have a voice that speaks to me. Now I know it's my spirit guide. And when I listen to the voice, things work out better for me than when I don't listen to it. And in addition to that, I've got some jealous people who did some dirty things to me that forced me down this path in trying to figure out what was happening to me. Yeah, but your spirit, when, when you were saying that, my, your spirit guy was telling me that the, the reason why, the reason why um, you have like obstacles, you know, like uh, I call that interference, is to really develop inside of you a real intention. My intention is to do good. And I'm going to work like that and I'm going to do only good. So in this life, the, what is happening is that your spirit guy is sending you like tests and he wants to see if you're going to pass the test and be like, no matter what happened, I'm going to do my job. I'm going to do good. I'm going to work for the light. If you put that intention, you're going to be and you're going to end up working for the light. You know? so what if, did I do? <laughs> This slide is a test for you. This is, I'm telling you, this, this slide is a test. You're going to bring a, a awareness, a raise the consciousness. And, and by doing that, you will become so strong at the end of that life that in your next slide, the dark forces won't be able to hit you. Because in, the, in this slide, I never had that kind of problem. I never had that kind of problem because my intentions were already good because I was doing that in the temple of Akhenaton in a past life. I always, already did that. So in other words, I, I passed the test already. You are passing the test now. But judge your aura, I can see your aura. You have, the, um, you have a lot of colors in your aura. You have the aura of the, of the um, how do we call that? Uh, the worker for the light, is that what? Light workers. You have that aura around you, I can see. Well, I am told that I'm a star seed. Well, you're doing well. Thank you. I have was told that I'm a star seed, that I came to this lifetime to help with the transformation taking place on the planet right now. And I think it's why I gravitate to people like you to listen to what you're saying, because it's helping me to grow more and more in my spiritual path. And so I am really hoping that we can bring more awareness to people so they can find out about their their mission here on the planet now and stay true to it so before we go because we're down to five minutes i will you come back can we do another show we oui, oui, yes sir, of course yes good 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 yes, That's I will. Nice. Let's plan another one soon because we had difficulties connecting in the beginning and it, it took away from our time. So let's plan another one soon. And then, uh, mm -hmm. but before I go today, what message do you want to leave for people watching this show? I want people to understand that they, they need to work on their issues. They have in this present life, they have issues. We all have issues, emotional issues, fears. They have to work on that because if they are reincarnated, it's because they had those same issues in past lives and, and they didn't work on, on, on them. So they come back, they have issues. So in this life, you must work on your issues. You go see a, a hypnotist, past life therapy, hypnotist, uh, go talk to a psychic, Go talk to people who can help you uh, uh, work on yourself. And you need to work on yourself because the more you're going to be working on yourself and getting rid of negative uh, emotion, you're going to be able to be working for the light. But if, if you come back with a huge luggage, you cannot really help the people around you. But if you get rid of that luggage and you clean yourself, you, you can be a soldier for God. You, you can work for the army of God. And then remember in your next life, you're going to be able to again come back and, and, and save the world, you know, participate in that. But your duty, your duty is in this life is to work on your issues. You must work on yourself. You can't bury your, your negative emotion, your stress, your resentment with alcohol, drug, uh, um, working um, all the time and stuff like that. You, you, need to be, you need to work on yourself. That's really, I, I want people to understand that. And ask your spirit guide to help you. He will bring you the right book, the right person to meet, the right person to talk to. Your spirit guide is always here to help you. And if you ask him to help you, you're gonna go much faster. Remember that woman who killed her husband and herself. She would have called her husband, he would have uh, found the right issue without any drama behind. 
Thank you so much. Look at our timing. <laughs> exactly okay. when you stopped, the alarm went off. I thank okay. you so much. And thank you wherever you are in the world. I know that this segment is an eye opener. Dominique is coming back soon and she'll answer more questions for us. I think she did a great job. I'm sure you will agree with me. And I thank you for watching Conversations with Jenny Lynn, the trailblazing show. And I will see you next time. If you like this show, please click the like and subscribe button and watch out for the next segment with Dominique. And we will see you next time. Broadcasting from Silicon Valley, California, this is Conversations with Jenny Lynn.